Okay, um, we're back on the resources page for lesson um, four, and again, you get to the ass assignment from this link, and then to get back, so this is how you get to the assignment, and then to get back to the instructions for the assignment, you can just go back to instructions for lessons four, and this gives you all the specifics that accompany this CD in order to help you um, with your assignment. So before we get started with um, the WorldCat catalog and RefWorks and the interlibrary loan, I'm going to show you some keyboard shortcuts that I find very helpful when I'm doing online research. And some of you may already know these, but for those of you who don't, I have a screenshot here of what it looks like when you have several windows open at the same time. So when you start a program for Word, you have the little Word icon. Um, when you start the program, this is for Photoshop. Um, I've started a session for um, Internet Explorer for web browsing. And this uh, um, green one, I believe, is for uh, web web editing. So these show all the programs that I've opened on my computer at one time. and if you push your finger d thumb down on the alt key and then hit the tab key it will actually open a window that looks like that that shows you all of the different programs that you have open the blue box occurs around the one that if you let go at this time this would be the page that you would be on so in this case um, it's another page from the UAS online website that we were just looking at so I'm gonna do that again I've, I'm still holding my thumb down on the alt button but I've pushed tab and every time I push tab it's going to take me to another page so this says if I let go here I'll be on Camtasia Studio web page um, Camtasia menu ma maker um, a folder for lesson three and um, if I let go here I'd be on the week three assignment from the LS111 website so this tells you what page you would um, be on if you let go at that particular time so I'll just let go at Camtasia and there's Camtasia and now if I do it again I'm back on the homework assignment so essentially hold the alt key with your thumb and then press the t tab key to toggle between open windows and what this is useful for um, is if you have uh, one web browser session open and you're in a library catalog and you need to look something up in Google you can have another browser session open in Google and you can toggle between the two of them very quickly rather than having to go down to the bottom and, and, and click on the individual windows using the um, mouse. Some other keyboard shortcuts. Control C allows you to um, copy so rather than doing file um, and then say or what, what would it be let's see it's under edit normally edit and selecting and then copying you would just highlight some text so I'm gonna pull my cursor over some text to highlight it while pushing down the left click on my mouse and then I'll do control C to copy that and now if I um, open a Word document for example I can paste that text into the Word document by doing control V um, and we'll just give it a second for the word to open so now control V will paste that text and if I do control V again it will just keep pasting that down and I'm gonna do alt tab to get back to the assignment so control C to copy control V to paste control X is to cut so rather than copying this text if I wanted to cut it and move it somewhere else then I would use control um, X Control F is a very important one. It actually finds words in a document. It could be a Word document, it could be a very long web page, or um, any kind of document you can think of. And it, when you do Control F, usually a search bar opens somewhere, and you can put in the, the search term that you're looking for. I'm going to look for drag, and as you see, drag becomes highlighted here as I type that term in. Um, let me try another one, uh, ILL. So um, ILL from filling, but if I did find next, it would take me to the next place where ILL shows up, and then the next place. And here's actually the ILL that I'm looking for, which, we, which is what we call a shortcut for interlibrary loan. And you can also do previous previous to take you back to the first instance where you found that particular term. So that's control F, and it's very good for finding specific terms within a document. Um, control P will help you print and control print screen 
helps you do a, a screen capture. Um, doing the little Windows M button minimizes all the open sessions that you have, for example, and takes you back to your desktop. desktop. So um, another thing is when you're filling out an online for form, the tab key allows you to advance to the next text box automatically. So these are just a few. There are many, many um, sh keyboard shortcuts, and if you want to share with us one of your own keyboard shortcuts, you can put that in the um, feedback for lesson four section, um, and then other students will be able to see which keyboard shortcuts you like to use. Now I do have to say, since um, we may have students using Macs, Mac computers and Mac operating systems, that these um, are sh keyboard shortcuts that work uh, in a PC environment, so I'm not sure what the equivalent would be for Macs, and I apologize, but this course is more um, formatted for PC users. So anyway, these are some of the keyboard shortcuts that I find to be quite useful when I'm doing research and today if I use any of them I will just sort of point them out to you to sort of reinforce that.